Could you share with us, uh, you've been doing this for a while. What Give us like a conversation or two, the, the ones that really stick with you, uh, the, the ones that perhaps motivate you or, or uh, you know, just cause you to mourn abortion. Just share with us some of those conversations that you've had that really, really stick. Mm. So one in particular uh, really struck me just because it felt like too many coincidences to be coincidence. It felt like fate. So I was, I was near the university network in downtown Toronto. So lots of university and, or sorry, hospital, university hospital network. Um, and I was out with a sign doing outreach, asking people what they think about abortion. And I asked this woman and I didn't know, hadn't noticed right away that she was pregnant. So I just said, Hey, what do you think about abortion? And she said, like, how did you know that we were just talking about that? And I said, Oh, I didn't like, do you mind sharing? Like, why are we just talking about that? And, she, and then I noticed her, her belly and she said, I'm, I'm five months pregnant and we just left my gynecologist appointment. And, she was, I, and then I noticed she was crying. And she said, my child's been, been diagnosed with bilateral hydronephrosis. And the doctor says that we should have an abortion. And so my husband and I were just talking about this. And I said, or she, or she said it was a kidney problem. And I said, hydronephrosis and she said yes how did you know that and I said my son was diagnosed with that when I was pregnant with him and and she said well you know we've been told we have to have an abortion I said no 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 like and I told her a little bit about how that went with my son that you know they monitored monitored him while I was pregnant and then when he was born he still had it and a few months later he still had it and then one one day it just went away and, and that there, but that they told us there were surgeries available. Anyway, she was absolutely floored. Like I gave her a reference to a pro-life OBGYN and I said, please get another opinion. Do not feel like you have to do this. And she like hugged me and she was crying. She said, she felt like, you know, God had sent me to be there at that. She, she said she and her husband had prayed that morning for a sign. And so she felt that that, my presence there was, was a sign. And I felt it too. I mean, what are the odds, right? So that was such an incredible experience. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Pro-Life Guys podcast. If you want to learn more about the abortion war, if you want to hear some great conversations that we have with some of our pro-life heroes, or if you want to learn apologetics, how you can winsomely and effectively and compassionately have conversations on abortion so that you too can see someone change their mind, and see lives saved. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our new content.